Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones and today we're taking a look at a Mini 2 that has a battery problem. So if I put in the battery and I power on the drone, as you guys can see it's powering on but the two middle lights aren't powering on and the rear light is blinking red. Now I can leave it on and you guys are going to notice that the gimbal does not go through its motions and effectively the drone powers on and you are able to view it in the DJI fly app, I'll show you shortly, but you are not able to control the drone. Also the telemetry will be zero 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 and this red light will just keep flashing red below and you can see the battery over there. Something else, you cannot power it off. So you can try, but it does not power off the drone. The only way to turn it off is to open the battery compartment and pull the battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the app and then show you guys how it looks into the app and then we're going to see if we can get this thing resolved. You can see I'm currently in the DJI Fly app. The Mini 2 is connected and the camera and everything else is still not working on the drone. So currently we have no use of the drone. I can go into the Fly app and I can see that the camera is looking forward and literally there's nothing else that's going on. You can see the telemetry on the top right. It's got 0% battery. The RC signal is good. My GPS obviously is not going to have anything. But basically the battery telemetry or details is not coming through. That relates into the firmware option we want to install. Giving you the error, checking battery takes level talks one minute. But it can't do it because it will never have enough battery for you to perform a firmware update. So what do we do now? Well, you'd probably try and see if you can maybe get past the firmware issue by checking for firmware manually. As you can see, the drone's also on a pretty old firmware. But the update is available. You click install and you get the same issue again. So currently there's no way to move ahead. The drone effectively is not going to boot up. So what can we do to fix this? Well, what we can do is we can try and force a firmware update on it. But the DJI Fly app cannot do it because the battery has to be more than 20%. And since we don't have telemetry, our battery is never going to be more than 20%. Now, even though it's fully charged. So we have to use a different program than the DJI software. So we can't use DJI Assistant 2 and we cannot use the DJI Fly app to update manually. So what we're going to do is we can use the Drone Hacks application to update the firmware on the drone. And let's just jump to the PC and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so now that you're on PC, remember it has to be a PC, it cannot be a Mac. You're going to get to the Drone Hacks website, just simply by typing in Drone Hacks into Google, go to the download page and simply download the file. Once again, it's only for Windows 10 and Windows 11. It will not work on iOS or anything lower than Windows 10. So once that's done, you can go to the home page if you want to. You can go read up all about Drone Hacks and what it does and all the features it has. Everything's there. It's, it's really a helpful website. But all the information you require is on the bird map. So if you're on the bird map, you can go down and you can go select your drone, in our case the Mini 2, and you can go select whatever firmware you're on. If you're on the latest firmware, for instance, you can scroll up and you're going to see that everything is hackable. So that's all um, altitude removal, signal hacking, no-fly zones removal, all of that is available on the, the latest firmware if you've got the Drone X license. If you've got an older firmware on your drone, you can go and select some of the older firmware and it will then s simply show you what's available and what's not. On some firmware, um, everything is going to be just fine. You can just go ahead and it just everything's moddable. But in many cases, you might have to downgrade to be able to get everything else. And for that, you will need a Drone X license. So here's a good example. Let's just go down to, let's say, the Avata. And the Avata is not hackable yet. However, you can see that on this firmware, the Dronax Companion app is available. So if you purchase a license, you can still enable FCC mode, which is obviously better range, better signal um, if you're outside of the USA. So that's a great feature to have for some people that just need more penetration. If you select the Mini 3, for example, which is not hackable at all, the same things came to apply. You can still enable FCC mode on the Mini 3. But if we go to maybe a different drone, you can see it's not going to work. In this case, you can see actually the Mini 3 on the latest firmware. You cannot 
um, use FCC mode, but if you go one firmware older, then you can use FCC mode. That is why I always say never upgrade your firmware unless absolutely necessary. In many cases, DJI will just update the firmware to update some fixes or actually just block any exploits that's popped around. In our case, anyway, we're just going to go back to our download page and we download the DroneX application. The other application we need is Dank Drone Downloader. Just simply type it into Google and then you're going to go to the website and then download whatever firmware you require. Now remember, the Mini 2 that we've got, it's got an issue, which is clearly firmware related. The fact that it still powers on and you can still hear the beeping noise on the computer means that the computer still detects it. So in our case, we just want to flash the firmware with a software that can flash it even though the battery percentage is not being used. So in this case, simply go to the web page from the drop-down box, just select the firmware that you need. In this case, it's the latest firmware. You're going to click Submit and you will just download the file. Simple as that. There's no real <laughs> difficulty in this. You simply just select from the drop-down box and then you will just download the file. You can see that it has the release notes there as well, so you know exactly what you're getting when you download the firmware. But lucky for us, the Mini uh, software is very small, so once that's done, we're just gonna open the DroneX application. You might have to go and create a DroneX account. It's free. So don't worry about it, just create one. And once you have that open, we're just going to open the DroneX application and then run it from there. So once the application is open, that is where you have to log in with your details if, if you need to just flash the firmware or load a DroneX license. Remember, in many cases, you might have to purchase a DroneX license to be able to downgrade your firmware because the anti rollback firmware increases whenever you upgrade your firmware to a newer version. DJI is sneaky like that. So once again, don't upgrade if it's not absolutely necessary. In this case, the drone is detected. My account, everything's going to log in and you can see the current firmware that my drone is on. And you can see there's also a recommended firmware which will enable me to remove the no-fly zones and everything else like that. So in this case, we need to downgrade, sorry, we need to upgrade the firmware. That's all we need to do. In actual fact, I really don't want to even upgrade the firmware. I just want to flash the firmware so that I can fix whatever firmware issue there is. Because most likely this Mini has an issue because while it was updating, someone bumped the drone and the cable got loose or the battery went dead or whatever reason. But the firmware is clearly not working properly on this drone. So with the DroneX application, you can simply go to the flashing tab. And once you're on that flashing tab, you can go and then select choose firmware um, and then you can download or upload the firmware that you want and um, there's also a link to dank drone downloader on the web on that page so if you didn't have it already you can just go over there in this case we're just going to quickly select the firmware file and once that file is done we are just going to well, flash the firmware so you can see there's a little message that pops up so remember if you flash the firmware and you're upgrading you are going to change the anti-rollback version of your firmware so usually you only want to upgrade within that same framework of your firmware because you can't downgrade after you've upgraded past a certain point. So whenever you upgrade to a new firmware, there might be a new anti-rollback version, meaning you can't downgrade anymore. So just keep that in mind. Luckily with the Mini 2, we don't really mind. It can go up to the latest version. It's still hackable with the DroneX mod, meaning we can still remove the no-fly zones and so forth. So we're going to click the flash button. It's going to run through the whole process. And you can see, you can flash now without the battery percentage being shown. So Drone X will ignore that, but just know that if your battery is that flat, it could fail halfway through. So in our case, we know it's not a, a battery that's flat because we've put it in the charger, everything's fine. So as you guys can see now, the Drone X application, it says flashing is now done complete. Everything is now done. If I take a look at my screen, the drone is now turned off completely. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it over and you can see it's currently actually charging. So I'm going to just turn it on. As you can see it's now flashing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug it from the cable and there we go. And now I can turn it on. Obviously it cannot turn on if it's plugged in because <laughs> it's not, you can't fly like that. So um, the rear of the drone, as you can see now, is not just flashing red, it's now flashing normal. It's the green flashing one looking for GPS. And if I plug it into the computer, actually it's turned green already. So if I turn it on, we're just going to wait for DroneX to detect it as well. And we're going to see if the firmware version is up to date. 
if you do get an error message popped up like that, it's just because the application wasn't closed and reconnected as well. Simply, you can remove the device if you want to and just plug it back in and it'll detect it. But usually just closing the DroneX application and reopening it will do its uh, drone scan or port scan properly and you can do it. On the bottom left, you can see there is an issue trying to connect to a Mavic Mini. This is a very good thing for you guys to go through. As you guys can see, especially with it, you're going to have to power off your drone. And once it's powered off, you are going to power it back on again. You're going to wait for the chime. And after the chime, you're going to plug it in. And that is usually how it connects to the device more properly. I already know there's some really good news because my camera is looking up or down. So in this case, I'm just going to close the application and reopen it. And that's just going to be the better option to go through. So just give me a second. I'm just opening up the application. Okay, so I've closed the DroneX application. I've reopened the DroneX application. I'm now going to turn off the drone and restart it and I'm going to wait for the chime and after the chime is done I'm going to plug it in I'm already happy because the camera is already looking up and down so that's already a really good indicator that whatever has happened was successful I can hear the drone in the background um, connecting to the PC and uh, by the USB port and we can see here that our firmware has now updated successfully and there we go, guys, that is how we fix the issue. I'm gonna log into the Fly app and I'm gonna show you guys that everything's working properly there as well. But once again, if you guys like what I'm doing, please consider to click the like button, the subscribe button, uh, there's affiliate links below. Any little bit of help and support that you guys give it really does help out the channel. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've opened the DJI Fly app, I've connected it to the controller and the controller's already linked to the drone. The great thing is I know the drone is good because the green linking light on the rear is already fine and the camera is already looking up or down. I've just tested that. Before we had a firmware update for the drone and the controller, as you guys saw in the video earlier. In this case, we now only have a firmware update for the controller because the drone has already updated the latest firmware. So if you want to, we can quickly just update that as well. So let's just quickly let the drone through. If you want to click on more, you can see that there's just a couple of optimizations um, for some other phones and stuff that support. So we can just let it run through. And once that's done, we can move on to showing you that everything else is now working on the Mini 2. Okay, there we go. Firmware is now just installed. It's just going to quickly reconnect. Just give it a second. And as you can see, everything's now done. Tap close. I'm not going to update that. Go to the Go Fly button. And you can see my battery is now at 31%. And I can control the gimbal. So as you can see, everything is now working the way it's supposed to be. And we can click and confirm the firmware version by going to the About page. And there you can see. So. That's how you will fix the Mini 3 if you've got the firmware issue that it does not display the telemetry. Once again, guys, please click the like button, the support button, the affiliate links below. Anything that supports the channel, really, really appreciate it. Every subscriber that we've got is fantastic. Um, and we're almost on our way to go to 8,000 subscribers this year. So amazing support from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.